Hey guys, it's Sadie. I actually wasn't going to film what I got for Christmas this year. I don't know, I actually just wasn't going to film it, but then I got so many comments and DMs saying like, where is your Christmas haul? Like, where is it? Also, I've been watching a ton of these, and then when I watch a bunch of videos that are like really, really good, I just like get inspired to make them. Here comes a disclaimer. You knew it was coming. I am so grateful for literally every single thing that I got. I am honestly just so happy and appreciative. Like COVID has made me appreciate time with people so much more. It just made me so happy that my sister came home home and my whole family was here it is such a happy time even just without the presents and like still be in the christmas spirit like we can still listen to christmas music and still have like a big dinner and all of those things so comment down below the favorite thing that you did this christmas or this holiday season if you don't celebrate christmas This is every single thing that I opened yesterday. I'm filming this on Boxing Day. It's like mostly clothes, which is actually weird because I don't usually get mostly clothes. Um, my parents know that I have an issue. I have an issue. I can't part with clothes. It's really hard for me. Um, actually, I literally asked for these from my aunt. Um, these are brown sweatpants from Garage. They're the boyfriend jogger. I love like basic sweatpants like this. These are also tapered at the bottom, which you guys know that I love. I've been obsessed with this brown color. Like I see it on Pinterest all the time. This is the exact brown color that I love right now. I got this in an extra small. I think these are gonna fit. And even if they're like a little bit baggy, I don't really care. It says NYC. So I'm very picky with my jeans. I'm actually very picky with all of my clothing. So it was really hard for my parents to buy for me and for Santa to pick stuff out for me. I'm, I really made his job really, really hard. But these are nasty gal jeans. These are like a wide leg jean and at the bottom they have a slit. These are a little bit too long for me, even though these are petite. I just have tiny legs, so I'm still gonna need to get them like hen and get the waist hemmed. Did I just say hen? I'm so excited to like have perfectly fitting jeans. So if I'm wearing like my cool Air Forces that are kind of patterned, you'll be able to see them through the jeans. Oh, and also if you see anything that you like, I definitely know that I like to do a little bit of shopping after Christmas, and especially when like the sales are all good and maybe there's gonna be like New Year's sales and stuff. So I'll link everything that I can down below because I know a ton of this stuff is probably from like Amazon. I also got kind of the same jeans. The style is called slips now or never petite high-waisted jeans. I'm gonna get these hemmed and taken in at the waist too so these are gonna fit perfectly too. The only thing is that this one has a rip on the butt which I don't think I'd be very comfortable wearing so I'm probably gonna get the tailor to like close that up as well or put some fabric underneath. I have more pants. I think this is the last. Why am I already sweating? Is that weird? Like do I have a weird sweat gland or something? Because like I get unusually sweaty. Then I also got these pants from Nasty Gal. Ribbed flare trousers. That is the name of the style. And the waistband is so comfortable and like compression. I love that. They're high waisted. These also have a flare bottom. These are so flattering, especially if you're short. They make your legs look so long and they make you look so tall. Yeah, so these are also a little bit long on me, which I expected. So I'm probably also going to get these hemmed. We got this. It is literally so cute, so comfortable. I have been pinning stuff like this on my Pinterest for a while, and I'm pretty sure these are called shackets. No, I'm gonna get roasted if that's not actually what this is. I love these colors. Oh, this is like literally exactly my favorite colors right now. It's a little bit oversized, so I can wear this with jeans, leggings. So I will definitely link this down below if you're interested. The next thing that I got is actually a set, and I'm not even sure that Aritzia carries this color anymore. So this is from my mom. My mom actually told me that she picked this out like early like months ago. This one is the Rich Copper Free Terry. That's the style. So I got some sweatpants and I got the matching top that goes with it that has buttons down the front and it's also like a mock neck. You can also unbutton it and have it kind of like a collar. I actually wore this to Christmas dinner yesterday. I'm obsessed with this. I, I literally opened this and my brother was like girl boss. It is one of these kind of like suit jackets. I love this one because it's actually cinched at the waist which is so flattering and also has a little bit of padding in the shoulders so it's like a super structured look this jacket can go on top of so many things like sweat sets skirts jeans leggings literally anything it just elevates the outfit so much I need to eat. I was so excited when I opened these and I think it's just because it makes me feel rich 
Is that the word? It makes me feel, I don't know, having clean white socks. Something about that just like elevates your quality of life. So I got like a 10 pack from my sister. When I opened it, I audibly gasped. Like I was like, yes. As you guys know, I'm kind of obsessed with hats. I asked actually this year for trucker hats. My sister came through. I'm going to try to find this online and link this one down below. This one is adjustable at the back. Honestly, I just think it's a cute little emblem here. This kind of looks like the picture that I have up here of a girl with a blue and white hat. I'm gonna put it on right now. So this is how I would wear it and it's already adjusted to my little head size. I just love trucker hats so much and I'm gonna add this to my collection. And speaking of my collection, my brother got me a hat rack, which is actually hanging up there, which is why I can like display all my hats. I feel like I should put them in color coordinated order. That's something I'm gonna need to do. When I go to uni and I like move into res or something like that, this is such a cool way to organize my hats. It's so cute. Like some people have like purse organizers. I have hat organizers. This is the top that I wore under that suit jacket for Christmas. It's just a really basic, good quality tank top. What I love about this is you don't really have to wear a bra with it because it's like padded. It just feels so expensive. And this probably wasn't even that expensive. Oh, it's from Dynamite. So it definitely wasn't that expensive. It was probably affordable, but I will link this down below. This probably comes in different colors. I'm probably gonna get this in different colors. V-neck adjustable strap that you can wear any day, anytime, anywhere. Following that, my brother got me this little gift and I was so curious as to what this was. I was like, is this jewelry? This has to be jewelry, right? Well, oh, there's a hair in it. That's awesome. I open it up and it's a bunch of meditation crystals. I'll do a little close up. There are the crystals that like stand up so you can kind of have them in a circle in a certain pattern. He got me two versions of the same ones. Um, these are also really good for law of attraction and manifestation and stuff like that. So I'm just so excited. So I got amethyst, clear quartz, lavender, Lapis Lazuli, green aventurine, yellow jade, red agate, a jade, a, and red jasper. They all have different uses and different meanings and all of that juicy good stuff. This is a really useful gift and my brother also got this for my parents, but it is a window cleaner and defogger for my car. I think all you do is you rub this on the inside of your window and it gets rid of the fog. This is probably from Amazon, so I will link this down below too. This thing is so funny. So we always open a present on Christmas Eve like the kids normally do. So this is a present that I opened on Christmas Eve and then the rest we open on Christmas morning. But I got this heatless hair curler. You've definitely seen this on TikTok. Like I've seen people wear this. I have pictures of me wearing it. You kind of do look a little bit stupid while you're wearing it. But if you don't want to damage your hair and curl your hair all the time, what you do is you put it like this on your head and you clip it with at the top. There's like a ton of different ways that you can use this, but you can either like braid your hair and wrap it around or you can just wrap it around and then you tie the little scrunchies at the bottom and you leave for like three to six hours. Apparently you're supposed to look like you literally have a blowout. Then I got some jewelry. Jewelry is literally the way to my heart. Like I am obsessed with jewelry. Also, it has to be gold. It has to be gold now. I'm sorry. I really don't see myself wearing silver jewelry for a long time, but watch me literally change my mind tomorrow. So I got this from Yella Vintage. I'm actually wearing both of the things, but I just want to show the box because it's really cute. This necklace, it is like an adjustable chain link necklace. Super simple. It's just really nice for layering and just for wearing every day. I love this. This is gold and waterproof. Like this brand is known to be waterproof. And from the same company, I got this ring. Why is the ring always on my middle finger that I'm trying to show? I'll do a close up of this, but it is kind of like a plate, but I've always wanted a ring shaped like this. I have this pinned on my Pinterest, I swear. This is also waterproof, very simple, super stackable. Obviously I'm a fan of rings. Definitely trying to build my collection of sustainable and good quality jewelry. This is a brand Pavel. Boy. I got these kind of clip-on earrings that you're supposed to clip like up here like where you get a cartilage piercing It's basically like a fake cartilage piercing and I love the look of people who have like earrings up here and kind of go down So excited to wear those. Okay from the brand Famarin or Famarine. It's an Amazon brand I got these simple gold hoop earrings I as you guys know always have little gold hoops in or I will swap it out for like a big gold hoop But I was actually in need of some because this one is gonna a little bit tarnished and brown so I'm gonna switch these out actually right now and since I have my doubles pierced I get to play around with my earring choice a lot so I can wear four at the same time if you didn't know how math works. And then I also got these earrings, which are from the brand Lily and White, which is also an Amazon brand. They're like these really cute, twisty gold hoops. Like how do they know the exact jewelry that I wanted? It's actually kind of crazy how much they like hit this on the spot. I wanted this exact design. And other than that, have I forgotten something? I feel like I always forget something every year. I don't 
No, I, I don't think I actually forgot anything. Yep, I forgot something. This was like under all the clothes that I just threw in my bed. Basically, my dad took all of the family videos that we have like from our childhood, put it on a USB because they used to literally be on like tapes and there were so many of them and it was so hard to find. Like if you wanted to find a specific birthday, it was so hard. So he took the time to put them all and convert them all onto like a passport and then he had to convert them all to a USB and he got one for each of the kids so we can always have family videos. I'll comment down below on this video if I forgot something. I probably did. That's going to be everything that I got for Christmas this year. I'm literally so thankful and I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas with your family. I'm going to try to upload this like before the new year. So hopefully I can get this up by like December 31st or something close to that. I actually have a really cool video that I have like spent a lot of time on and put a lot of thought into coming the week after I upload this, which is all about like this last year. And then I'll have another video after that, which is about the new year. So I just have so many things planned and so many exciting videos that are super relevant. I think you're gonna be so helpful. Happy holidays. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.